Badawan and Fartsum Young Brunnen is a log flume at Erlebnis Park Trips Drill. And Weird only begins to explain it. You ride in bathtubs, travel past naked women, and even travel backwards at one point. Then you have the usual drops you may expect for a ride like this. When you put all these elements together, you have a truly memorable attraction, and I'll explain why this water ride is so great in this review. Built by Mock Rides in the year 2000, this flume has a one-of-a-kind theme. The name translates to the bathtub ride to the Fountain of Youth. At first, I thought that had to be a mistake in translation. I used Google, after all. The name sounded too absurd to actually be the ride's theme. But that describes it 100%. You ride in bathtubs, and then you float to the Fountain of Youth, where old women bathe to become young again. The experience starts with the queue line, and you may be waiting a while. I visited on a summer weekday, and I still had to wait an hour. The ride had plenty of boats on the course. It was just that popular. This ride had the longest wait in the entire park, so I would strongly recommend heading there first, as soon as it opens. And it may not open right away. It seems to regularly open an hour after the park. The queue line, like the outdoor sections of the ride, are very well landscaped. There are lots of flowers and bushes, so it feels like you're waiting in a garden. And that garden gets plenty of water. There's a section of the queue line that runs alongside the final splashdown, so every few seconds, a giant wave is sent into the queue line. People would strategically leave a large gap in the line and run past the splash zone in between boats. The final section of the queue line is indoors and features displays on bathing. And then you finally reach the load platform and each party gets their own boat. The boats look fantastic. They really look like bathtubs and they're complete with a decorative shower overhead. The ride begins by slowly floating past the gardens, traveling underneath the big drop, and ascending a short lift hill. Once at the top, you dip underneath the queue line for Gusente Sao, and this initial drop doesn't do too much. It's just the appetizer. You then float into a well-hidden show building. You navigate this dark tunnel, and when you emerge, you find yourself in a scene you'd never see in America. You have this beautiful fountain with old women bathing. But these women are not wearing bathing suits. Nope, they're buck naked. And then they're evidently in the fountain of youth because the women on the other side are young in the prime of their lives. These are very detailed and very anatomically correct statues. I was surprised just what you were allowed to show in a German theme park. You then ascend the second lift hill. This one feels twice as tall as the first. At the top you hit a turntable and then you rotate roughly 45 degrees counterclockwise. A door in front of you opens but it's a clever fake-out. You instead roll backwards and drop into the daylight. This backwards drop is surprising, and it offers a little free-fall sensation. After floating backwards for a short while, you hit another turntable, and then you head forwards again. You then ascend the ride's third and final lift hill. At the top, you're nearly level at the 53-foot or 16-meter tall Gascent de Sao. You then round a corner and head into this classic castle. There you pass a knight, who's also bathing, but at least he's in a suit of armor. Then you pass a medieval paraphernalia. And then you traverse the final plunge. This is a great drop. It's quite tall for a flume, and it even gives a tiny pop of airtime. I really wish there were more mock flumes stateside. The resultant splash, like the prior two, gives a moderate splash to riders. It's enough to refresh you without completely soaking you. It was a comfortable amount of wetness. The ride then floats back to the station, passing the tired gazes of those stuck in the ride's queue line on the way. So what would I rate Badawan and Fart Zoom Young Brunnen? I would give this log flume a 9 out of 10. This is a quirky and fun attraction. The visuals are great. You have the beauty of nature on the outside, and a peep show on the inside. The latter ties into the ride's well-executed and very odd theme. Then there are three drops with the final two being really good. This is one of the best attractions at Tripstrill, and also one of my favorite flumes out there. 
So those are my thoughts on Trip Stroll's log flume. What are your thoughts on this mock water ride? Do you appreciate the attraction as much as me? Let me know down in the comments. And if you speak German, let me know how I did try to say this ride's name. There's a reason I only said it twice. It was very deliberate. If you enjoyed this review, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a like and you considered subscribing because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.